Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name's Harry and I'm part of the Zone Leader team here at Falls Creek. Today we're going to show you how this bad boy works. I present to you the Sherpa, where dreams come true. Alright, so when you arrive to the Sherpa guys, we're going to go through and check the condition of the key and the fuel card. So, condition of the key, the key's still there, she's looking alright. We've got the fuel card here, pop him out, give him a swipe and we'll run through that later as to how to fill her up. Awesome. Next thing we're going to do guys, just bang that back in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the coolant and oil levels. And we're going to look for any leaks while we're at it. So I put, pop the hood on this bad girl. As you can see, we've got some coolant in there. If we have coolant issues, say there's none in there, just let us know. Call Mountain Office and we'll sort that out. This yellow one here is your dipstick for the oil. So we're going to pull that out. And there's oil on the dipstick. Wunderbar. Alright, put that back in there and just do it gently. We don't want to bend the dipstick, guys. There we go. Alright, so now that that's done, we can close up the hood. We've got these rubber notches on the side, so just make sure that you close her up because we don't want her flying off during operation. Awesome. So, second thing... Third thing, sorry, on our checklist is we're going to check for leaks, so we're just going to walk around the Sherpa guys, have a look for anything that may, any green coolants that may be leaking or any oils, this looks fine, so on to the next thing, check fuel level and fill up if required. There we go, so here's our fuel tank under the seat, guys. Unscrew that one there, have a look. And uh, there's a bit of fuel in there, and we'll run up in a run over it in a minute as to how to right, fill it guys, up, guys. The next thing on our checklist here is to check the track tension and the rear bolt axles. So we're gonna go along and look for any defects in the belt, any cuts, nicks, or abrasions. Can't see any here. Just give that a little flex, we can see that there's a bit of tension in the belt and that's what we're looking for. While we're doing this, we're also going to have a look at the bolts, make sure that they're all still there. And we're also going to have a look at this rear axle, and make sure that's holding on. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. Alright, so now that we've done our tension and rear axle bolt checks, we're just going to have a quick look to make sure there's no dust or bird poo on here, but generally it's going to be fine. Alright, next thing is to run the snowmobile and check operation of brakes, steering, stop button and lights. Cool, so, this is how we turn it on guys. We're going to flick this main isolated on. Sometimes if you do this, the fan won't come on, so just keep flicking it until it comes on. I can hear the fans running, so next we're going to hit this to run, and then we've got the start button down here. And away we go. Alright, so we got brakes here, we want to make sure that the hand brakes off as well guys, and then we've got the throttle here, so next stop, Pleasure Town. So when we come to the end of the journey guys, we're going to put the hand brake on, flick that little bit into there. And then we're just going to isolate the ignition, turn the key off, and then the main isolation point, which is this red one here. And we also want to make sure that the lights are working, so if we just flick this back on. Uh -oh. There we go. Turn her on. Jump off, have a quick look. <laughs> and there's the one headlight. Alright guys, so now that we know that the snowmobile is working, it's steering, it's braking, it's doing all the things it should, we're going to da -da -da -da, check the tow hitch and safety strap. So, we want to come over, make sure it's attached, which she is, and we've also got a U-bar on here which is holding it on, so in case this did fail, she's not going to run down the hill on us. We also want to check that the skis are in good condition. So you can see the skis are still there, the plastic hasn't come off or anything. And we also want to check the seat belts, and we're looking for frays in the seat belts and any faults. So just go through, have a quick little look. They all look good to me. Perfect. Oh, hey, 
Hey guys, so uh, when it comes to filling up the Sherpa, we're just going to grab the key card. Uh, off the key here, right? Jump off the Sherpa. Now we've parked within close proximity so that we can actually get the fuel hose over. So we're going to release these little latches here. Flip open the seat and hey presto, there's our fuel tank. So this blue bit here is where we put the fuel in. Now unscrew in there. Lefty loosey righty tidy. Pulling back a little. Oh, hello little bee. Oh no, that's a fly. Awesome. So now we're going to come in here. We want the black strip of the card facing the right hand side. So give her a swipe. And petrol, right? Two the petrol, hit enter, go to pump and take fuel. Why, okay, I will. Alrighty. Awesome, so just same as filling up your car guys, nozzle goes in the hole, squeeze trigger, until it clicks off. Pretty straightforward guys, try not to overfill it. There we go. All filled up. Try not to spill any any uh, petrol, guys. This is a sensitive Alpine environment. Bang the nozzle back on there, and uh, that's how you fill up the Sherpa. So make sure we're going to make sure now that we uh, close up the lid, and then we're just going to close down the seat. So there we go. Screw him up. Close the seat, and then just make sure that you latch it back down, guys. And the last important thing, don't forget the fuel card. Slip in back into there. And you're ready to drive. All right, guys, so now that you've gone through your checklist, you're ready to safely operate the Sherpa. Just remember, if the conditions are slushy, take it easy. And uh, happy Sherpering.